Okay, so we got a handful of things here. We got the chicken with a pulley in the middle. We got our dance routine. We got a hunk of meat. I got ourselves a yellow petal, a sword, and minutes, which still have no use for. There is one thing I want to do, which is actually quite convenient that I'm here. So that seagull, there's got to have been some more things I could have do, do with it. So let's just uh, wait here. There we go. Wait for him to pass. Alright, cool. In we go. Lovely jubbly. Hey, buddy. Oh! Get out of here! Thank you. Hey! Get out of here! No! Let me take that. Oh, I see! Okay. Yeah, you do get infinite. Okay, cool. So we have ourselves a hunk of meat, petal, and fish. I wonder if we can do anything with these to make it into a... Oh, hey! I wasn't in there. Don't worry about me, buddy. Don't worry about me. How many pieces of eight do we have? 279. Alright, let's buy ourselves a shovel. Just do anything and I'll break your legs! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Understood. Let me just pinch this. Excuse me, sir. What do you want? About the shovel. What about it? I want it. Great! You'll pay for yourself, believe me. You'll dig up 75 pieces of eight in no time. But hey, save some treasure for the rest of us, will ya? Ha 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 ha! What else you want? Looking for the sword master of many islands. Yeah, and like I'm gonna fall for that one again. Oh please. I won't do anything this time, I promise. Hmm. Well, I guess I could hike all over there. Again. Be right back. I got my eyes on you, easy boy. Don't try anything. Don't worry, I'm not going to. I see you. I knew you could follow him. I was gonna say, it seemed like quite bizarre that I couldn't follow him, so now I wanted to try if you could follow him, and yeah, you can. It makes a lot more sense than trying to wait for him. Hopefully I don't alert him by getting too close, but I don't think I will. Governor Marley, salute. Off he goes. You didn't happen to see an old man pass here, do you? No. Nope. Storekeeper. Okay, so went to the fork. Let's go to the fork. Hey, buddy. You definitely don't want to get lost in here, because these lost woods are literally like... Well, these woods are like the lost woods. So I messed up my wording. Wait, wait, wait. These red flowers? I'm not gonna get distracted. Oh, that scared me then. I kind of forgot I was following him for like a split second. Nice. Secret path. Intriguing. Hey, buddy. A bear just stay back and eavesdrop. drop. That pixels are going crazy over there. Hello again, Carla. I thought I told you to get lost. Actually, I'm here on business. This kid came to my store, see? Face it, you crushy old lech. You'd make any excuses to come here and bother me. Oh, well, yeah, I guess so. Well, cut it out. I'm sick of it. Take a hike and don't come here again. Someone might follow you, and then I'd have another Mini Island tourist attraction. Hey, it's your loss, baby. Yeah, right. Now scram! Well, at least we know how to get here. Did I remember that path? Fuck no. But at least I know. Oh! Oh, hell yeah. Now I can just walk there. Oh, that's fantastic. That is very fantastic. I'm very grateful for that. Let's go here. To the bridge. Hey, buddy. Uh, give 
fish. Ah, red herring. Pass. So fun fact about that uh, little section there, I found out that was uh, George Lucas. That's a George Lucas Easter egg. Don't you know it? Stan's previously owns vessels. Oh great, I have a grog machine. George Lucas shitting out eggs here? No, it's just eating red herrings on a bridge dressed as a troll. Close though. Close. I still think that with this petal, we can turn this into uh, some sort of sedative. Is sedative the right words? Is that what you used to put someone to sleep? Okay, let's go over to here. Was there anything that we missed over here, I wonder? We're not going near the deadly piranha dogs. Can we mix these two together? No. Oh. Important notice. These dogs are not dead. They are only sleeping. No animals are harmed during the production of this game. Severe so lack of secrets and monkey on this island. Hell, I ain't even seen one special edition on this island. Heh, <laughs> well. I'd like these apples. Nah, no, actually, I actually kind of prefer the OG gra graphics. Isn't that bizarre? Let's go in here. What's, what can we do in here now? Hello? Guten Tag? Uh, hello? Alright, let's go in here. This looks like a job for Festa Shine Top. Yeah. Ouch. <laughs> Hypnotize. Hypnotize qu quarrelsome what to? Ooh. No, not the red button. Press red button. Walk to. Kaboom. Okay. <laughs> Look at. Tremendous yak. There's a big, ugly, hairy yak wearing some wax lips. Push tremendous, dangerous looking yak. I can't move it. Pull. Pull tremendous, dangerous looking yak. I can't move it. Pick up. Pick up safe remover. Walk to. Use. Use staple remover on. Tremendous dangerous looking yak. Fuck. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Pick up manual style. Walk two. I must be nuts. Yup. Can I go again? Pick up wax lips. Walk two. Goofers! Pick up. What are we picking up? Gopher repellent. Oh! Repellent! Okay. Gopher repellent with gopher. Use. Use gopher repellent with another gopher. Use. Gopher repellent with gopher horde. How many gophers are in there? Gopher repellent with another funny little man. Wait, a funny little man? Look at. Fabulous idol. It's beautiful. Open. Open lock. It can't open it. Uh oh. Pick up. Pick up heavy chair. Walk to. Use. Heavy chair with. Sheriff. <laughs> <laughs> that should hold him for a while. If only I had a file, I could get the idol. Alright. Well, we got this uh, repellent, which is convenient. I thought maybe we'd use the plant to make a repellent, but nope, we got a repellent here. Let me... There you go, buddy. Hey, 
This might work on the rats. Thanks. Here's the cake. Cool, now I have cake. Oh, turns into a file. Well, that's convenient. How convenient. So when you start doing one thing, it all starts to have like a snowball effect, you know? Everything just starts, you know, clicking together and you start doing more things naturally. And you start off, you're not really sure what to do. And you do one thing, you're like, oh, now I can do this with this and this and this. And it, it, it kind of, it you know, it gets the, gets the ball rolling. All to gaping hole. I got the file. Use a manual of style with shredder. Give stylish confetti to heavy arm clown. Whee! Throw wax lips in. Fire. All two. Use fire one. Rhinoceros toenails. Use fire one lock. Pick up. Fabulous idol. Hooray! We got fabulous idol. <laughs> Phew! That was a close one. At least I got the idol. But I'm not done with you yet. Uh oh. For you could get out of here with the idol of many hands, did you? Well, look, I can explain. So can I. You poisoned the governor's pet's poodles. They're just sleeping. Broke into her house. The door's unlocked. And stole one of her most valuable pieces of heart. And no, you've got it all wrong. Oh, really? Well, let's hear your explanation. Uh, it belongs in a museum. Immediately, gotta go back. It's an Indiana Jones reference, I have to. Belongs in a museum. Ha! What's going on here? I caught this hoodlum making off with your idol, governor. He says it belongs in a museum. That's right, it does. Huh? What? You heard me, Fester. The real question is, how did he get in here while you were on guard? Uh, I, uh, just go away, Fester. I can handle this. Dumph. I'll deal with you later. Sorry about him. He's new. I'm Governor Marley. Governor Elaine Marley. So, my idol belongs in a museum, eh? Uh, gee. Relax, Mr. Freepwoods. I know why you're here. Believe me, you're the first one who's tried. Although, I have to admit, not many have gotten as far as you have. Uh, golly. My lookout told me of your arrival. I've wanted to meet you ever since I heard your fascinating name. Tell me, Guybrush, why do you want to become a pirate? You don't look like one. Your face is too... Sweet. Buff. I see. Well, you're obviously not in no mood for idle chit-chat, are you? I suppose you've got more exciting things to do. I won't take up any more of your time, Mr. Freepwoods. Nice. Sigh. Really wish I knew how to talk to women. Don't we all, brother? Don't we all? Been there, am I right, boys? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> oh, Alex, thanks for the raid, man. Appreciate that. How you doing? Nice. Skedaddle. Ah! Where do you think you're going, Frotwork? I'm going to put this aisle in a safe deposit box. Uh, you know, it's not too late to make up and be friends. Excuse me, Mr. Shinetop, you're blocking the doorway. Uh, safe deposit box. 
I'm gonna put this in the iron and save put spots. Oh really? I know a really safe locker you could put it in. Davy Jones locker! Hand over your sword. Uh oh. This is the end of the road, my little pantaloon pal. Your troublemaking days on Maley Island are over. Trademark. My plans for the governor are far too important. And much too near completion. To risk letting any would-be pirate like you would be a so long, Mr. Spicko, or Droopface, or whatever your name is. Yikes! Mmm. That might actually turn out to be a pretty good day. Ah, well. Little do you know, friends. I'm actually able to hold my breath underwater for like 10 minutes, so, you know, I guess I've been needing the swords. This one would do. Nice, now we got our sword back. Well, that wasn't so hard. Well, and now all I have to do is show this stupid isle to the pirate leaders and... You're alive! Governor! Hey, you can talk! Who'd have known? And what are you doing here? Come to finish the job? No, I came here to save your life. Professor wasn't acting on my orders when he threw it in there. You came here to rescue me? I didn't even think you'd like me. Well, our first meeting was a little awkward. You seem to have trouble forming complete sentences. But, then again, so do most of my citizens. But I'm not one of your citizens. I'm just a drifter, a nobody, a would-be pirate. Who would have known or even cared if you let me drown? I would have, Guybrush. Oh, Governor. Oh, Freepwoods. Oh, Elaine. Oh, Guybrush. Oh, Love Muffin. Sugar Boots. Hair Honey Pumpkin. Plunder Bunny. Kiss me. <laughs> no, we mustn't. What? Not here. Everyone can see us here. Why? Are you ashamed of me? No, no, it's not that at all. It's just that many of these pirates have made advances towards me. And to avoid hurting their feelings, I've always told them that my father promised me to never fall in love with a pirate. So if they see us together, they'll know I was lying. Okay then, let's go to your place. Okay. Oh, we about to fuck. But finish your trials first. I won't, don't want you to be preoccupied. But I feel this sudden urge to complete the trials quickly. Now let's go his priorities. And what we got here? So we got the idle steel, staple remover, a shovel, our dancing instructions, and still have the look chicken with the putty on it. Oh, there's a house here. Can we go to the house now? Captain Smirk's Big Body Pirate Gym. Prices. Pirate Sword Training, 30 pieces of 8. Cannon Firing, 160 pieces of 8. Balls Extra. Grappling Hook, 130 pieces of 8. Hook Extra. Cool, so we have more than enough pieces of 8. We have 204 pieces of 8. We are A-OK. -okay. Hello? I think I'll knock. Not if you play. What do you want, you wimpy, spineless looking maggot? Could you train me to be better than a swordmaster? Better than a swordmaster? You! <laughs> you can never be half the sword fire Kyra is. Even with hours of hard work and sweating blood. I remember fighting side by side with Carla at Port Royale. The local constabulary had, well, I didn't know what that word was. It looked like we were done for, and then she said, but I digress. You just don't have what it takes. What's const, what's, hang on, I gotta know what that word is. Constabulary? Constab, a police force covering a particular area of city. Oh, constabulary. Oh, constab, oh, okay. All right, I get it now, I get it now. Uh, I do too have what it takes, so I guess you're right. No, I have what it takes. You know, you should really quit smoking. I don't think we should piss him off. 
I do so have what it takes. You do not. I do so. You do not. I do so. Uh, I like your spirit. I'll see what I can do. Of course. It'll cost you. How much you got? I have five pieces of eight. Say no more. Say no more. Let's see your sword. Alright, check it out. Yes, this is a nice one. Let's get to it. Alright, you maggot. Why don't you whip that sword out and let's see what you can do with it. Boy, you fight like a dairy farmer. At least you don't waste my time with vermin like yourself. But seeing as the Chuck thing has a cramp on business, I got no choice. I need the money. Yeah. But I can see this is going to take some special measures. Just want you to know, don't do this with everyone. It's only because I felt that special. Student mentor piece of eight bonding. And I'm going to these lengths. Going to put you up against the machine. Machine? Is this going to hurt? Yikes! Come at me. Don't be afraid. You won't hurt me. Advance, thrush, recover. Parry, riposte. Advance, thrust, recover. Parry, riposte. Watch your footwork. Use your foot against the. F f Did he do it? Hours later. You're starting to get a hang of it. More hours later. Not bad. You got good form. Now I'm going to let you in on a true secret of sword fighting. Sword fighting is kind of like love making. It's not always what you do, but what you say. Any fool pirate can swing a sharp piece of metal around and hope to cut something. But the pros, they just know how to cut their opponent deep with insults. One that catches them off guard. You see kids, your wit's got to be twice as sharp as your sword. Let's try a couple insults out, shall we? Okay. Imagine this. We're fighting up a sword. Just like Carter and I were doing at Port Royal. The sun uh, break and fighting, and I say to you, you fight like a dairy farmer. You respond with, uh, I am rubber, you are glue. You have to think of someone else. I'm not a farmer. So is your mother. Um, oh yeah. I can see we got a lot of work to do here. You should have responded with something like, How appropriate, you fight like a cow. You see, it's razor sharp wit like that wins fights. Let's try another. Imagine this. You're trapped up against a wall. My sword just slashed two cuts into your face. I say, Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. You respond with, uh, oh yeah? I can see we're in deep trouble here. <sighs> a correct response to, soon you'll be wearing a sword like a shish kebab, would have been something like, first you'd better stop waving around like a feather duster. See? Razor sharp. Now I suggest you go out there and learn some insults. Can't help but feel like I've been ripped off. I'm sure you're feeling something similar. Indeed. Just a little bit. Okay. Well, time to go scrap, I guess. Die, this better be important. My name is Guy Brush Freewood. Prepare to die. Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. I'm shaking, I'm shaking. You fight like a dairy farmer. Oh yeah? Uh... 
You call yourself a pirate? Ha! Is that the best you can come up with? Oh, I guess I was meant to give up there. There are no words for how disgusting you are. When I had in a Monkey Island DLC or something, the Sea of Thieves, never played any of these. And I felt like I missed out on a ton of references over the years. Oh yeah, this is really fun. I'm really enjoying it. Uh, yeah, it's not so much DLC, it's just an update. They're just, it's just a free update everyone we had to have access to. Gonna be like a whole, it's kind of like the whole Pirates of the Caribbean crossover that they did. Where they're adding like Monkey Island based deal, um, quests you can do. And you can actually visit the Monkey Island, which I'm really excited for. That sounds super fun. Um, uh, can you repeat that? I didn't quite get it. <laughs> I kind of forgot already. I said, there are no dis words for how disgusting you are. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nobody's ever drawn blood from me, and nobody ever will. Um. Oh, yeah. I give up. You win. Alright. We got a lot more insults chat, so we're going to be here for a while. Move out of the way, or I cut my way through. Uh, my name is Guybrush Freewood. Prepare to die. Uh, nobody's ever drawn, but gotcha. I love the Pirates of the Caribbean one. I thought it was extra cool, and the Pirates one was more based on the riot than the movie. Yeah, Dead Man Toto No Tales. That was cool. It did just feel like you were just walking through the. But uh, yeah, I, I had to buy the Captain Barbosa outfit. I just had to. Captain Barbosa is just one of my favorite characters from. Pirates of the Caribbean, and as soon as I saw you was able to get it, I was like, I have to get that. So I bought the Captain Barbosa outfit. Uh, no one's ever drawn blood from me, no one ever will. You run that fast? I've spoken with apes more polite than you. Boy, I'm rubber, and you are glue. I don't actually know what that means. What's that meant to mean? This is the end for you, you gar crawling cur. Uh, got to go to Florida Disney World when I was like 10, and I spent half a day on that ride. I'm not really a big fan of roller coaster rides, but maybe I'll have to check it out one day. I know it's really cool because of the, you know, the animatronics and stuff was really well done. And then around when Pirates of the Caribbean came out, they added a Jack Sparrow in there, which is quite cool. Iron Rubber, you are blue. What you say bats off me and six to you. It's a full phrase. Oh, okay, I see. I see. Uh, oh, yeah. Yikes, nice move. Pirates of Caribbean isn't even a roller coaster, really. I hate roller coasters. Yeah, I'm just not. I get really motion sick. I get really motion sick. And it has its own little lore and stuff, as far as I know. Like, um, all the characters have their own little backstories and stuff. Will you be one in your scurvy lover? Uh, prepare to die. It's Jen for you, you gutter crawling cur. But I've got a little tip for you. Get the point? You make me want to puke. Um. I am rubber and you are glue. I want to try this one. Okay, alright, that works. Cool. You have manners of a beggar. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yikes, nice move. Stopping a pirate can be dangerous for your elf. Prepare to die. We can be a long time then, please, in insults. Uh, you make me want to puke. I feel like what we need to do is we need to get the... You make me think somebody already did. Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. Uh, then you better stop waving it like a feather duster. Yeah, there's like a series of scenes you go through. They all tell like a little story. It's super well designed and themed. Uh, they're like the whole thing is basically a big cave tunnel just covered in decoration. That's really cool Really cool I've spoken with Abe more polite than you 
I'm shaking. I'm shaking. Uh, you fight like a dairy farmer. Oh, yeah. Hooray! We won one. No, give up. You win. Cool. So now we're able to win some. We got enough insults to win some, but it's not good enough. Stopping a pirate can be dangerous for the elf. Kicks down the door to chat. You fight like a dairy farmer. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's, let's do that one. Just for you, Zerif. You fight like a dairy farmer. How appropriate you fight like a cow. Oh, I'm on a back foot. I spoke with apes more polite than you. I think I've unlocked the one for. <laughs> I love that you can ask them to repeat themselves. Hey, I know you just insult me, but can you let you repeat that? Uh, oh yeah. I don't think I got the rebuttal for that. Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. Mm oh, what? Well, wrong one. Ah, oh, bugger. Where my sword go? I meant to click the feather duster one, not the cow one. Aye, it's better be important. It's important. Your life. Uh, okay, so... Yeah, I'm gonna start saying the ones I haven't got a, a rebuttal for. Oh yeah? You're the man who's a beggar. Oh yeah? There is no words for how disgusting you are. Yes, there are. You just never learned them. Okay. I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. I'm shaking, I'm shaking. You fight like a dairy farmer. How appropriate, you fight like a cow. Nice. They give up, you win. See, because we're going to be fighting the sword master, we want to make sure we have absolutely every insult. Many, many minutes later. First, you better stop waving around like a feather duster. Wow, you're good enough to fight the sword master. Do we actually think that's enough now? Let's go give it a go. Because I don't know how many enough is... I don't know if I haven't, like... Sorry, let me read it. I don't know how much is enough to have all the insults. So we're just going to give it a bloody good go, I reckon. Give it a bloody good go. Is she just dancing over here? What's she doing over here? How dare you approach a swordmaster without permission. Which I surely didn't give you. Uh, my name is Guybrin Freewood, and I'd like to kill you. Nothing like being honest. I can tell by the sarcastic expression on your face that you've been fully trained by Captain Smirk. Let's get this over with. You're a pain in the backside, sir. I wanted to make sure you felt comfortable around me. Nope, wasn't that one. My last fight ended with Karen's coming in blood. Karen's coming in blood is picking those, I bet. Ooh. Good shout. I'll milk every drop of your bl bloody body. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. I don't know if I got a rebuttal for that one. Milk and cow. Ah, clever. Yeah, you hope you fight like a cow. Yeah, that's clever. My sword is famous all over the Caribbean. Too bad no one's ever heard of you. Every word you say to me is stupid. I want to make sure you feel comfortable with me. There are no clever moves I can help you now. Yes there are, you just never learned them.
Okay, you win. Hooray! Well, hope you're happy. You can go back and brag to all your friends about how you beat the Swordmaster. Alright, damn. You'll need proof. Here, they should convince them. Look at our 100% cotton t shirt. It says, I beat the Swordmaster. <laughs> Brilliant. Amazing. Hooray, we did it. Now, the last thing we need to do is dig. Diggy, diggy hole. Stopping a pirate can be dangerous for your health. Yeah, I didn't want to, didn't want to bother you. That's now we're having, isn't it? I sure hope she had something more important to stop me for. I ever notice how these rows start to the same? Yeah, not that you mention it, they do. It's probably just that we're tired. Uh, sorry, Bobby, I'll be on my way. Cool. So now we need to find somewhere to dig. Um. So I'm guessing this is instructions on where to go. Unless this is instructions here. Maybe it's right, right, left, right, right. Okay. I don't think strolling through the forest picking flowers is a very good practice for being a pirate. Okay. Free woods. So you need to give me an attitude, buddy. Alright, I'm going to go back to the very beginning because I am very confused. I am very confused. <laughs> Need a village, go to the fork. Whoa, 17 people. Back means the path back to the, off the screen. Left means a path on the left of the screen. Right means right. Eventually, you have the lost treasure when we done. Right. That says left. This is left, so I'm guessing I go left now. What did map say now? Map said go left. So I'm going going left. Left right. Our stream stream's good, thank you. Left, right, back. It says go back. Is it something Monkey Island really coming out next week? Yeah, that's um, yeah, Sea of Thieves Monkey Island update. And they're doing like a crossover type thing. Top of the screen is back. Oh, okay, my bad, my bad, my bad. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Right, back, right. Okay, we go right. And then left. Yeah, left. And then back. Haha! -ha, this is new. Hooray! We did it. Took long enough. Wow. That was uh, <laughs> that was something. Use, use, bam. This shouldn't take too long. Hours pass. Hey, I think I hit something. Oh boy! It's a t shirt. Not my size, but a nice one nonetheless. Well, I guess I should put all this dirt back now. More hours pass. Hooray! Look at the t-shirt. I found a treasure on Bainey Island, and all I got was a stupid t-shirt. Classic. Classic. Legendary lost treasure of the Melee Islands. This carefully reproduced piece of Melee Island history has delighted thousands of would-be pirates and their families for generations. Remember, there are other pirates on this island. So go easy on the treasure. Leave some for the next person. Thanks Zara for helping me out there. Sorry I was a little bit stressful, I'll be honest. Um, <laughs> following instructions isn't my forte, <laughs> clearly. Alright, so now we have all the free things that pirate leaders wanted. Oh! Hello. 
That's a... a chuck chick if I've ever seen one. What was that? I'm so confused. Hey, uh, what are you doing just standing around? The governor's been kidnapped. What? By whom? The Chuck's got her on that ship that just sailed off. I'm afraid we've... Uh, does my mic always make this background noise? Only because of my old PC. I tried putting loads of filters on it to make it so it doesn't, but unfortunately I can't do much about it. So where were you this whole time? Sleeping? Hey, I'm a lookout, not a bodyguard. Uh, where did they go? Uh, why don't you think we'll see her again, or I'll go get a crew. Where did they go? The church taken the governor back to his hideout on Monkey Island. I'm afraid that no pirate on this island is brave enough to go follow him there. But hey, good luck. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. They left this note. You can have it, but I don't think you'll like what it says. Raisin, well, I think we'll look at this note next time. Alright, thank you for stopping by. I appreciate you guys. Uh, I'll play all out with some music, and um, I'll see you all soon. Slash tomorrow. In a bit.